Dirt was flying Saturday afternoon at Muddy Creek. The fourth annual Tennessee National kicked off on a very hot Saturday with one local athlete trying to secure a win on his home track. We'll start in the 250 class moto race. Number one, Abingdon's own Zach Osborne, number 16, coming off the best outing of his career in Pennsylvania, trying to find the top of the podium. A tough start for Osborne, starting back around the number 15 spot, but he slowly starts pushing his way towards the front of the pack and getting himself inside the top five. The day, though, was dominated by Georgia's Thomas Savacci here towards the back of the track, sliding to the inside of North Carolina's Jordan Smith and taking over the lead. Osborne not too far behind, chasing down Smith also towards the back of the track and moving to the inside and around Smith, taking over third place. But no one getting past Savacci on Saturday. He hangs on for the checkered flag in the first 250 moto race. North Carolina's Cooper Webb finishing in second in that first race. Webb would then go on to win the second moto race to take home the overall win on Saturday. Osborne finishing strong in that first race, rounding out the podium, finishing in third. He would then finish 10th in that second race, so he ends in sixth place overall. Not too bad of a day for the local racer. It was great to finally do it well. You know, I've done it a few times now, but uh, every time it's been mediocre. So to give them something to come back for next year is uh, really good. It's good to have inside knowledge that, uh, that I've raced here my whole life, but at the same time, anything can happen. So it was uh, a little nerve wracking there for the first couple laps. In the 450 moto, Muddy Creek proved to be no match for Ken Roxon. The German who has dominated this season would win the first 450 moto race and was able to pull off the win in the second moto race as well. A clean sweep at Muddy Creek as he takes the top spot on the podium twice Saturday afternoon.